Hi, my name is Benjamin Nylon, and today I'm going to explore the CSS classes that are inside the Quick Launch. Now, by now you already know that I add the Content Editor web part on my page to be able to add some CSS just to test it on a single page because I don't want to affect other sites or other web pages. So for this scenario, I'm going to edit my page, go directly into my Content Editor web part, and start editing the HTML. Now, last time, what we did is we looked over some of the CSS classes that make up the larger containers around the quick launch. Let's look at them quickly. These are the first two th classes, three classes that we looked over last time. Let me explain to you what I'm writing over here. The first one is saying that there is a div that uses the S4 left panel ID and this is the container around the quick launch, the biggest container around. The second one we saw last time was a div that is inside the left panel, which is called S4 left panel content. Now this is a container inside the left panel. And then finally, we saw that there is a container that uses the quick launch outer class. And this is the third container inside left panel content, which is inside left panel. Now today I'm exploring a little bit more of these classes and I'm going a little bit deeper into the containers but I got a little lazy and I decided to put all of the CSS classes that we consider being around the quick launch the containers and I decided to apply some different colors so as you can see they are all the same CSS line all they do is change color and always apply a margin of four pixels is to be able to give a little bit of space for me to see where they are. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it into my content editor HTML source. I'm going to click on OK and look what happened. My quick launch has some beautiful colors right here inside. Perfect. So I can see the yellow, the blue, the red, the pink, the gray, the green and the black. If I wasn't sure, I can go back to my HTML source. So we can see in order from top to bottom, the largest container inside the quick launch to the most granular, the most, the smallest container inside the quick launch, which is the vertical menu, the unordered list that uses the root class. Now this is the black container that you see. And this is the container of the quick launch. Now, now that I know and I've understood all of these classes and remember why we wrote this one like this, we understood in our previous articles that in CSS, when we write two classes together, it means that I want the black color to apply to every unordered list that use the root class, which are inside a container that uses the menu vertical class because if I remove this it might apply to other classes somewhere on my SharePoint page that also use the ul.root and since the global navigation and the quick launch usually share a lot of the classes I want to make sure that I specified the quick launch menu now I'm going to erase all of this and what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to change and try to just get the items that are inside the UL, the unordered list that uses the root because I'm trying to get the items inside the quick launch menu but I have to make sure that it's under the menu that is vertical which is the quick launch menu. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in my HTML source and let's see what happens. So I'm affecting all the list items that are inside an unordered list who uses the root class that are inside a container which is the dot menu vertical class. I'll click on OK and as I can see I'm only affecting the items inside the quick launch menu. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and add some links in the quick launch menu so we can see some other links. Now as you can see I added some links here in the libraries and lists just to have a link just to be able to see how it looks like. Now if I go back in my HTML source and repaste what we just did the ul.root, the list items inside vertical and click on OK 
you can see that it gives us a very different look. It looks like the list items of the unordered list that is inside the quick launch is all of these together. The headings links and the actual links themselves are considered list items. Well, what if I only want to affect the headings in a certain way and I only want to affect the links in another way? So what I did is I actually looked around, um, checked out some of the CSS that is inside SharePoint already, and I found this code. I found that SharePoint tells the quick launch menu for headings, it's all of the items that uses the menu item class. So all the menu items that are directly, this means directly under a list item who's directly under an unordered list that uses the root class, who's under a container that uses the quick launch class, which is S4QL for quick launch. I applied some font, some colors for the font. And then for the actual links themselves, notice the difference here. I said all of the links that are directly under the list items that are directly under a UL, that's our difference here that are under the ul.root, which is the unordered list that is the using the root class that is inside the quick launch. Now this may seem confusing, but let's see what it actually does. And then let's try to cover what they were trying to do here. So if I open the HTML source editor and paste what we just have and click on OK, then we should get what we desired, which is black bold and gray bold for the actual links. So we separated the heading and the list. To understand it a bit better, you can see the entire quick launch menu as ul.root. This is your entire quick launch menu. It's an unordered list that uses the root class. Now, inside the actual unordered list, you always have LEs. These are list items. But in this case, in the quick launch, the list items are actually the entire section of a heading and its included links inside of it. So libraries, link A and link B, this is one single LE, list item. List with link C, this is another separate LE or list item. So if you want to get what is actually inside, what they did in SharePoint is that all of these individual list items have their own unordered list inside of them, which contain list items. So inside the libraries link A, link, link B list item here, we have another unordered list which contains link A and link B list items. And that's why this one reaches our links and this one reaches our headings.